Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we're going to be going over this massive Furby package that I got from Mercari. It was $24 for a giant lot of Furby, so let's check it out. I got my box today. Look at this baby. I have two of these now. And I think two of these will be coming in here. <laughs> I'm just a baby. Ah! <laughs> I love this. So I kind of put these back just to take a picture of them. But let me see what we got. But now we're gonna go into the big one. Where are my big feather? Oh, look at this one. I already have one of these, but that's okay. I might, we might do something with her. We might customize her or we might just resell. I'm not sure. Mmm, something tricky. Oh, oh, battery leakage. Battery leakage uses, usually melts their little foot. I see the. I gotta go through them. Oh, I gotta get the batteries out if they have some. So that's today's project cleaning off their battery ports. Because apparently they were stored with batteries. This guy was frozen mid dance. So that's pretty good. That means they do work. It said on <laughs> top. Baby, why are you so wrong? It said untested. I gotta go into those right now. Uh, yes, my feelings exactly. All right, so with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and start opening these guys up because as you can see, there is a lot of corrosion happening because they still have batteries inside. Don't ever store little babies with batteries inside. It hurts their bodies. Look, his little dancing feet are melted. Those little plastic bars that help them sway from side to side like a cute little Furby. Now he can't dance, but that's okay. We can fix that. And look at that. <gasps> That's like a really, really nasty port. I think this is one of the worst ones I have seen. And honestly, I have made that mistake myself when I was smaller. And I have left one Furby like that. And he has lost his little dancing foot. So we're going to just need a lot of cleaning, a lot of scrubbing. Uh, we're going to be using ba um, alcohol to clean the ports once they have been scrubbed clean with a dry toothbrush. And then I'm also going to be using... Uh, vinegar to clean any of the dry acid that's left then dry that and then clean the ports lastly with um, alcohol and that's and pretty much we're gonna go through every single one of these and we're gonna be doing that process through every single one of them I might just skip through I might just do the opening and then the reveal because let's not say forever guys <laughs> Furbies are done. We're gonna go ahead and start with the furblings. And with these furblings, I was actually 
happily surprised that most of them did not have batteries inside. Well, let me, all of them did not have batteries inside. And most importantly, they did not have any corrosion in their little ports. And uh, just a little bit, uh, but not too bad. Um, and that was a pretty easy clean. And after doing lots of scrubbing and lots of cleaning uh, from their battery ports, I began to test a couple of them. And yes, a couple of them did work. Look at this guy. Uh, four out of the five adults did work, which I was very, very happy. Because I was kind of concerned. I was like, I hope that, all, that at least two of them work. But four out of five, that's pretty good. Um, the small ones I was not able to test because I don't have any of those small watch batteries. But since they didn't have any issues in their ports, I'm pretty sure they are going to work. So I'm pretty happy with this purchase. It was $24 well spent. And honestly, this guy alone, the little blue one, he really just, just does it for me. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.